Grace and peace be with you. I'm Paul Stevens. I'm the ordained minister in placement at St Luke's Uniting Church in Heighton. This is a special online reflection for Sunday the 26th of December 2021. That's Boxing Day 2021. Even though Christmas Day can be a rough day for some, I trust it has been a good day for you. And I also trust, given the easing of COVID restrictions, although we seem to be having them tightened up all of a sudden again, I trust that uh, Christmas Day was an opportunity for you to catch up with friends and family, perhaps for the first time in two years. The tone of the Christmas celebration for Christians is clearly one of joy. Joy that comes from the startling good news that God becomes human, one with us through the birth of a vulnerable babe, Jesus. And this is a genuine being at one with us. In Jesus, God shares in human life in all its complexity, including right from the beginning, experiencing the consequences of the propensity of humans to treat each other in despicable ways. Many churches mark December the 28th as the Feast of the Holy Innocents. The Gospel reading is from Matthew's Gospel for that day, chapter 2, and concerns the necessity for Mary, Joseph and Jesus to escape from King Herod and to flee to Egypt. Let me um, read to you uh, verse 13 from chapter 2. Now after the Magi, or wise men, had left, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Get up, take the child and his mother, and flee to Egypt, and remain there until I tell you, for Herod is about to search for the child to destroy him. In other words, Mary, Joseph and Jesus had become refugees, had to become refugees. Herod was a murderous despot who stooped at nothing to hold on to power, including cozying up to whoever was the Roman emperor at the time, and as we hear from chapter 2 of Matthew's Gospel, having his soldiers seek out any boy who might possibly be the newborn king. There is no sugar-coated version of the Christmas story here. The Reverend Dr Melinda Quivick writes in commenting on this passage, and I quote, This Jesus, born in the midst of Herod's brutality, knows our suffering, comes to the frightened and the sick and the hungry, feeds and heals, and teaches the presence of God's power wherever there are tears. Today, so many people, too many people, experience the same plight as Mary, Joseph and Jesus, having to flee from despots and other kinds of dangers. And many of these refugees actually have no place to go, no place where they can find genuine sanctuary. According to the United Nations Agency for Refugees, there are 20.7 million people under their care, of which half of which are children. And an even more frightening statistic is that currently 48 million people have been forced out of their homes, have had to flee, who have become refugees, but in their own countries. So if you add up all those figures, that comes close to 70 million people are refugees currently, and I'm sure that's a conservative figure. Christian churches have long offered sanctuary to those who are fleeing oppression or other dangers. Churches have often offered places of sanctuary and safety. And St Luke's, along with uh, many other churches and other organisations in Geelong, has supported refugees in the Geelong region for a long time and actually advocated on their behalf too. Clearly the need for a practical and prayerful response to this need is not abating. It's a huge, huge need and one that requires Christian compassion and care in all sorts of ways in response. Thank you to everyone who has contributed to this ministry and continues to contribute to this ministry. And if you're someone who's just joined in and wants to find out about what we're doing or what other organisations are doing, well, a good place to start is to contact us and uh, you can find details about how to do that by looking at the um, St Luke's website. I invite you at this point to join with me in prayer. 
a prayer for of thanks for the blessing of Christmas, but also a prayer for those who are refugees. Let's pray. Compassionate God, almighty in love, we give thanks for the gift of your son, Jesus Christ, whose birth we celebrate in a special way at this time of the year. We also remember that with Mary and Joseph, he became a refugee and had no place to call his own. Look with mercy on those who today are fleeing from danger, who are homeless and perhaps hungry. Bless those who work to bring them relief. Inspire generosity and compassion in all our hearts and guide the nations of the world towards that day when all will rejoice in your kingdom of justice and of peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Loving God, in these blessed days that you came and live with us, we pray and ask you to help refugees with their many difficulties they face, with their lack of language, lack of knowledge and information. Give them the courage to start a new life. Give them hope to live and find their new life. Give them peace in their hearts so they can live in peace. Merciful God, we ask you to bless all who seek refuge on this land. Meet their needs for safety and for home. Move the hearts of your people to show them welcome. Cause wars to cease and bring justice to the nations that no one will need to flee. Compassionate God, we ask you today to continue your caring and loving to those who lost their house, a friend, jobs, memories, and more. Help them to get through a big change in their life. Guide them in their faith journey. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Just a reminder that worship will be on in person next Sunday, January the 2nd at 9.30am at St Luke's. At least that's what we're planning at this stage. And I wish you every blessing for this Christmas season as it continues because there are 12 days of Christmas and the peace and joy of Christmas fill your hearts and lives and the blessing of God the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you all evermore Amen Joseph oh Joseph what shall you eat you've nothing to last you the joy have nothing but the clothes you are wearing. Here, take this coat, it's too big, but it's good. Oh, the desert's too cold for wayfaring. Little Jesus, little Jesus, with what shall you play?
mother and father and baby. Little Jesus and his parents were refugees. From a cruel king came. 